Hi guys, it's Matt again. Um, we're just going to continue on from what we talked about last, which was recording sound effects for game audio. Um, in this video, I'm just going to go through how to process the, the audio um, once you've recorded it. So I'm going to use existing uh, samples that I've created. So in this case, it's running blood for a sample, uh, 15 samples actually. Um, so while we're here, we'll go through my naming convention. So I obviously called it a HSL, which is what the name of the sound library was, um, and a number, and the number represents to how many numbers are actually in the library, um, so it's 425. Uh, you don't have to do that, I only did that because it was a commercial release library and it was easier for people to find it. Um, so I would literally start off with running underscore blood and then underscore version uh, one. Uh, the reason I did the versions is because when I'm creating a sound cues, which is a, a is something I'll go through in a video in in about in the next video actually sorry um I can add I know that these sound effects will work together because they're recorded similarly similarly and they just work together so with a sound cue I can add them all together and randomize them and I know it'll all work so anyway getting on to what I've did here I recorded them high so I want them to be engine ready now so if I drag them into a program called SoundForge, that is all my files. So as you can see here, they are very, very low. So if I press play it, you literally can barely hear it. Um, I recorded them. This is an example I recorded just to show you what happens. So what I will want to do now is I will want to one, make it a mono track which it is already. If it wasn't, I would make it start with a mono. I also wanted to make it from 24 bit to 16 bit. And I also want to make it from 96 to 44. Um, so making it engine ready. But at the same time, I also want to normalize it. And normalizing just means bringing the gain up um, and making it louder overall. So what I'm gonna do now is use a process called batch converting. And what batch converting is, is I can run multiple processes at the same time so i'm just going to use my preset so what my process is going to do is it's going to do everything i i wanted it to do in that chain so let's just see what happens if i run job everything's fine brilliant so oh so that's that let's have a listen now it should be louder it'll still have brought some unwanted noise but for the for the principle of example, it should make sense. So, as you can hear there, it's a it's a good bit louder. So I will bring back my folder to show you what's just happened. So, as you can see here, it's made a SK or a SoundForge version of the file. So what I have to do now is just literally close each sound effect. And yeah, I want to save it. Just keep doing that as you go in. Yep, want to save that, yep. Yep, sorry this takes a while, I just want to get it all done to show you. That's you done, so SoundForge is done. You can open your file again, and there you go. So what we have here is both versions, both WAV files, or a WAV file and an MP3 file. So now if I wanted that sound there, 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 and so on, will all be ready to be put into a game. No problems. And the original file has not been touched. So what you might want to do is bring it into a different folder so you don't, uh, don't mix them up. It's up to you. It's up to your workload. This is just how I find it a lot easier and a lot quicker while putting game, putting implementing sounds into games is to keep everything nice and organized. So I hope that helped. Um, if anyone has any questions, don't uh, don't be worried to leave me a comment, and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible. But that pretty much is the very basic form of audio manipulation. Um, in a later video, we'll go back into SoundForge and show you how to make endless loops with audio, or just tidy it up. But for the principle of converting for the sound engine or for the game engine, that's what you need. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.